Nano Banana Pro now lets you create side-by-side -side images and you can use them directly as your input image, giving you a consistent face and a consistent outfit in every single image you create. And this is just the start. With a few extra prompt tricks, you can turn this into a full storytelling workflow that even works with two characters staying consistent in every scene. And here's the thing, if you only use the face as your input, Nano Banana has to guess the rest of the body and that's where things start falling apart. And especially when you have complex characters like this futuristic woman with the tattoos on her face, having a side-by-side -side image is crucial. Before I show you how to create this side-by-side -side image with only one prompt, let me quickly show you how well Nano Banana Pro handles consistency. Here we can see that the tattoos on her face are exactly the same as over here and also the tattoos in the neckline are exactly the same. And here we can see that the woman has the same kind of crystal stones on her head as over here and also the green cracks on her face like here and here are exactly the same as on her face over here. And with this image we can see that the face paint from the woman is exactly as the image over here. I quickly want to credit Glibertree, a YouTuber who used this side-by-side -side trick to make animated characters in Midjourney, which inspired me to try it in Nano Banana Pro. And I'm using that on Higgsfield AI. And as you can see, I'm here in the image tab with the Nano Banana Pro model selected. And here you can see I've added my prompt, which I will explain in detail very soon. And I've set the resolution to 4K. And now here you have many different aspect ratios. And for this side-by-side -side image, I tried different aspect ratios, but 4x3 gave me the best balance for both the face details and the full body outfit. Now, if you subscribe to Higgsfield before November 30th, you get unlimited Nano Banana Pro generations for one year. With the Pro plan, this is limited to 1K. The Ultimate plan gives you unlimited generations up to 2K, and the Creator plan even gives you unlimited generations up to 4K. Now back to the main consistency prompt. And for this to work, to get these kind of images, you need to follow a special structure. And you start by describing the woman's face in the top bit. Then you use on the left, and then you describe her expression. Then you use on the right, and you describe her outfit plus the position. And at the end, you end with a style and a lighting. So I ended up with side-by-side -side photo of a close-up face and full-body character design of a futuristic woman with visible subtle skin pores a deep black pixie cut and here in this bit I described her tattoos. Then I used on the left her expression is blank and intense, open eyes as if scanning the terrain. Then I used on the right her whole form is framed, she wears a sheer tight fitting black sleeveless exosuit. And I ended with on a flat dark slate background, captured in photography style with edge lighting for depth. And then the only thing left to do on Higgsville AI is click generate. And here's where it gets super exciting. This single image is the start of the whole storytelling workflow. Before we get into character sets and storyboards, let me show you how to use it to make a full body shot with a consistent character and outfit. And for this I'm going to use these two images in Nano Banana. And here you can see I've uploaded both my images and I've set the aspect ratio to 16x9 and I set the resolution to 4K and for the prompt I used front shot of the woman from image 1, she's running through the desert from image 2. Then I described her position and then for the motion I added with sand swirling whipping up as he moves, dynamic motion blur. And then hit generate and then you get these kind of images. So this is the image I like best and if you compare it with this you can see that the outfit is exactly the same, even the sandals are the same. And the tattoos on her face are also exactly the same. I am really impressed with this. And now I want to use this image to create a video from it and I use the prompt the woman runs towards the camera and for the camera action I used the camera pulls backward as she chases it, creating strong motion blur, high action, high speed energy. And I will do this on Higgsfield AI because you can see in the video tab you can use all the favorite models like Sora 2, Google VO 3.1, Kling 2.5 Turbo and according to Higgsfield they currently offer the lowest prices on the market for image and video creation. And in the video tab you can see I've uploaded my image in here, I added my prompt in here and then I tested this on the following three models, VO 3.1, Kling 2.5 Turbo and Hiluo 2.3. And then I got these three results. And with Kling 2.5 Turbo, the consistency in the beginning was very good, but at the end, mostly with Turbo, everything falls apart. Then with VO 3.1, in the beginning, she doesn't look like the character at all, and then later, it becomes a bit better. And Hiluo 2.3, I think gave me the best result, and the character stays the most similar throughout the whole shot. Let's go back to image creation with Nano Banana Pro. In my test using the side by side image, I noticed that for medium shots or close up, it needs a lot of extra prompting. 
so it's easier to make a full character set and then choose the right input image for each shot type. So the first step is to extract the close up and the full body shot from the base image. And since Nano Banana Pro is very good in upscaling and keeping everything exactly the same as you can see here, you just have to use the prompt upscale the woman on the left. And then on Higgs field it's very important to set the aspect ratio to 2 by 3 and set the resolution to 4K. And then if you hit generate you get these kind of results. And then you just have to repeat the same step for the full body shot. And for this image I used create a half body shot from this woman. And for this image I used create a 3 quarter shot of this woman. Now if you want consistency also from the front and back side of your outfit and your character, then you can use this as the base image again and use the prompt create a front and back view from this complete character. And you can also see I made a side by side image of myself and I'll show you how to do this later in the video. And in all my testing with the normal side by side image I only had one time that I had like two faces on my character. And if you run into this, then you can just remove the head because Nano Banana is so good in removing specific stuff. So I asked, remove the head of the woman standing on the right. And you can see it just nailed it perfectly. And now I have a complete consistency set. And I can use any image for any situation for the shot types that I need. And what I really like is that the outfit and also the tattoos on her face are exactly the same in every image. This is just insane. I love Nano Banana Pro. And then I used the three quarter shot and the desert image to create this image with the prompt close up shot from the woman from image one reaching out her hands to the camera and I used cinematic for the style keyword. Before we jump into the really impressive part using the side by side image to create full storyboards and image sequences from a single prompt let me quickly show you how I made the side by side image of myself. And then I used this as the input image and now the structure is the same as in the prompt I showed earlier. The only thing is I didn't put any information about my face because the AI already has that information from this image. And then I added in front of the prompt, use the image from the blonde person 4, a side by side photo of a close up face and full body character design. And then I described the tattoos over here and now we have this image and I am really impressed with it. It really looks like me and the tattoos are really nice and they are exactly the same in both images. And now I'm going to use these three images to create various shots from two characters in this white desert scenery. And these are the prompts I use to create these images. And with a close up shot we can see that the character's face and tattoos are exactly the same as the side by side images. The half body shot also stays very consistent. But with the full body shot the tattoos shift a bit. But in all three images the characters and outfit stay very consistent. A quick note, I picked a character with tattoos on purpose to really test Nano Banana Pro. With a simpler character you likely wouldn't notice the small differences in the full body shot at all. And as you can see here it also stays very consistent with action shots. With the side by side image and the desert shot we can now create full storyboards and image sequences in three categories. A story prompt that helps you build a full storyboard, an inspiration prompt for when you don't have a story idea yet. And the last one is a shot angle prompt. Let's start with the story prompt. And in here with Nano Banana you can see I've uploaded my images in here. I've set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and the resolution to 4K. And I added my prompt in here. And for the story prompt I used create a sequence of 9 cinematic film stills that tell a short story. The woman is trying to hide in the desert behind the stones because she's being chased by a space warrior. It should be very cinematic with a shallow depth of field to create a film like dramatic style. And that gave me these kind of results. And what I really like is that the outfit and also the tattoos are really the same in every image. And now for example if I really like this image, you can then extract this image, upscale it and use it in your final video, which I'll show you in a moment. But first I want to move on to the inspiration prompt. And for this I used create a sequence of 9 cinematic film stills that tell a short story about the woman in a white desert. And that gave me this result. And if you didn't have a story idea, now you can have this story idea. And I think it's about a woman who finds a mysterious machine, which with then she can use to create sunlight into blue light. And sometimes I also got images with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. And I think this is because I used the word cinematic film stills in my prompt. And you can also extract these, which I will show soon. And I'm also very impressed with the storyline that Nano Banana Pro gave me. And this is a very good base to keep working on. And the last one is an inspiration plus shot angle prompt and it's basically the same prompt as before and I just added we should have full body shots, medium shots and close up shots. And that gave me this kind of results. 
and now we can see a whole range of shot types already automatically created for us. Now let's move on to how we can upscale and extract these images. Now to extract this image you're going to use this as the input frame and then you use the prompt extract the fifth frame make sure there is no deformation and the character stays 100% the same. Now here with Nano Banana we see the uploaded image and here is the prompt and now it's very important to set the aspect ratio for these kind of images to 21 by 9 and then I would set the resolution to 4k and to extract images from this kind of storyboard I used an aspect ratio from 16 by 9 with Nano Banana and then I used the prompt extract the first frame to get this frame. And this image is now in 4K resolution and it is exactly the same. The only thing here you can see this tattoo is a bit brighter here. But yeah, if you would have a normal character, you wouldn't even see any difference. So I'm very impressed with this. Another way to control your characters and images is by using the right keywords for mood, emotion, style and realism. I'm working on a full video about this. So feel free to subscribe to stay updated. And a big thank you to Hicksfield AI for sponsoring this video. The link is in the description.